Beloved, you are a jar of clay molded by the hand of God. Genesis 2, 7. And Elohim formed man out of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. You are literally made from dust, molded by God's hands. Dust is not the most glamorous of materials. It's not rubies or diamonds or marble. It's not solid, but breakable. There is reason to this. In 2 Corinthians 4, verses 6 and 7, it says, For God who said, Light shall shine out of darkness, is the one who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Messiah. But we have this treasure in earthen containers so that the extraordinary greatness of the power will be of God and not for ourselves. God has not given us a glamorous container because it's not the container that is supposed to be glorified. It is the power of God it is the light of the knowledge of the glory of God, this treasure that is hidden within the container that is to be glorified. Our very clayness, our dirt, <laughs> it is a part, it is a piece of this gift from God to reveal the treasure. We are not designed to glorify ourselves. We are designed to glorify God, revealing the treasure that is hidden within, letting ourselves die to the flesh, letting the clay itself die and fall away. This is a painful process. I am sure you have already experienced this in life. As our jars of clay are beaten, abused, maybe neglected, it feels like death. It feels like all that we are is being chipped away. We have been called to die to self. It is a dying, it is painful. Back to 2 Corinthians verses 8 and 11, through 11. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not despairing. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying around in the body the dying of Yeshua so that the life of Yeshua may also be revealed in our body. For we who live are constantly being handed over to death because of Yeshua, so that the life of Yeshua may also be revealed in our mortal flesh. Beloved, do not despise your wounds. Do not despise your brokenness. Do not despise the pain you have endured in this life. The very place of your scars, the places that feel raw and exposed, are the very places where the light shall shine out of darkness. Don't try to cover them up. You will be hiding the very gift God is giving. Do not cover over your wounds and your scars, fearing to be seen as imperfect. You are imperfect. That's not the point. You contain within you the light of the perfect one. You are made to reveal his glory, his mercy, his love, his truth. And one of the best ways we reveal that is through our woundedness, through our cracks. That is where he shines through. Let his light shine through. Let his light shine out of darkness.